During a recent training exercise in Chongqing, the latest drone designed for firefighting in high-rise buildings was deployed. This drone is developed by General Aviation Equipment Manufacturing and is one of the first of its kind, specifically engineered to combat fires at elevated heights. The drone boasts a high deployment speed, capable of reaching an altitude of 200 meters in just 30 seconds. It is designed to operate in challenging conditions, including difficult access areas and locations that are unreachable by conventional firefighting equipment. The drone is utilized in situations where traditional firefighting methods are ineffective, such as when fire trucks cannot easily access the site. Its primary purpose is to extinguish fires in high-rise buildings and to carry out rescue operations, such as evacuating people and delivering rescue equipment. This drone is named Aerial Scooper Drone, is developed by Drone America and designed for firefighting by dropping large volumes of water or fire suppressing agents, as well as for conducting rescue operations and monitoring fires using thermal imaging cameras and other sensors. This drone can carry up to 1,000 gallons of water or approximately 3,785 liters. Due to its compact size and high maneuverability, the drone can reach difficult to access areas where conventional equipment is ineffective. The use of such drones in firefighting significantly reduces response time, minimizes risks for rescue teams and improves coordination efforts. The company Didioc Makings has developed a heavy unmanned aerial vehicle for firefighting called the ZY-50. The ZY-50 is equipped with a system capable of delivering water or other fire suppressing agents such as dry powder, with the ability to spray up to 50 liters at a time. This feature allows the drone to quickly respond to fires, covering an area of up to 200 square meters in just minutes. Additionally, the drone can carry fire extinguishing bombs that are dropped vertically for precise targeting of the fire source. The drone's unique design features an aviation-grade aluminum alloy, ensuring strength and reliability. It is equipped with six rotors and a powerful 17.5 horsepower engine, allowing it to withstand wind gusts up to level 5 and operate in challenging weather conditions. The ZY-50 has a maximum speed of 12 meters per second, and its battery enables it to stay airborne for up to 60 minutes on a single charge. The Chinese company Yi Hong has transformed its air taxi into a true firefighting drone. Yi Hang has introduced a firefighting multicopter based on its passenger air taxi. The developers suggest using the multicopter primarily for fires in high-rise buildings, where it is difficult and time-consuming to deploy a firefighting team using conventional means. The drone is equipped with a 150-liter tank filled with fire-extinguishing foam and a long water cannon. Above the cabin there is a launcher for fire-suppressing bombs, equipped with six charges. These bombs are launched at high speed and have sharp, hardened tips capable of breaking through windows. The drone is equipped with a laser target designator and a camera for aiming. The drone is designed for semi-autonomous operation. It can fly independently from the fire station to the fire site but the extinguishing process is controlled by an operator. Ehang claims that the drone is capable of extinguishing fires even in skyscrapers up to 600 meters tall, within a 5-kilometer radius from the station. During a presentation in Yunfu, the company demonstrated the drone extinguishing a fire on the penultimate floor of a 10-story building. This is the SKXF-07 drone developed by the Chinese company Jiangsu Digital Eagle Technology, designed for combating fires in high-rise buildings. The drone has a range of features that make it an incredibly effective firefighting tool. The drone has a maximum takeoff weight of 40 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 20 kilograms with a cruising speed of 10 meters per second. It can carry up to four fire extinguishing bombs each capable of breaking tempered glass up to 12 millimeters thick. These bombs cover an area of up to 36 cubic meters and release dry powder, which effectively extinguishes fires without causing harm to people. The SKXF-07 Pro drone is intended for use by firefighting units in situations where traditional firefighting methods such as using ladders are ineffective due to the height of the building. 
This device can quickly deliver fire extinguishing agents to the source of the fire, reducing response time and ensuring greater safety for firefighters. The company Flight Test has developed the Firecopter, a Y6 drone with a multifunctional design equipped with a fire extinguisher for aerial firefighting. This unique drone is a six-rotor device capable of maneuvering in hard-to-reach areas and extinguishing fires that are inaccessible to ground-based fire crews. The Firecopter was designed with a focus on safety and quick response to emergencies. Due to its construction, the drone can deliver a fire extinguisher directly to the source of a fire, utilizing various firefighting methods, including powder and foam suppression. The Firecopter's ability to extinguish fires from the air makes it an essential tool for combating fires in urban settings and open spaces. We've told you about drones that fight fires, but how about a drone that could start one? Introducing the TF-19 drone, the device that is essentially a specialized flamethrower that can be mounted on various drone models, such as the DJI S-1000 or DJI M-600. The TF-19 can shoot a stream of fire up to 7.5 meters. The nozzle can hold up to one gallon of fuel, approximately 3.8 liters. The flamethrower can operate continuously for up to 100 seconds on a full tank. The device is made from ultralight 3K carbon fiber, ensuring a strong yet lightweight construction. While the TF-19 WASP might seem like an extreme device, it has several practical applications. For example, it can be used for controlled vegetation burns and clearing fields, or for quickly melting snow over large areas or in hard-to-reach places. In the United States, using such a drone requires obtaining a license and permission from the Federal Aviation Administration. The company Arones has showcased its advanced unmanned technologies for firefighting. Their latest firefighting drone represents an innovative solution capable of effectively handling fires at heights unreachable by traditional methods. The Arones drone can ascend to heights of up to 300 meters, making it ideal for extinguishing fires on high-rise buildings and wind turbines. The drone is equipped with a system for spraying water and fire suppressants, allowing it to combat flames with high precision. It can also transport up to 200 liters of water, making it invaluable in situations where every second counts. One of the key advantages of Aroni's drones is their ability to operate in hard-to-reach areas. They can be deployed within minutes and provide continuous monitoring and assessment of the situation in real time. The company Advanced AI Solutions has developed the AAIS firefighting system, which includes the use of UAVs for combating ground fires. These drones are equipped with advanced technologies and can play a crucial role in quickly detecting and extinguishing fires, providing firefighting teams with vital real-time information. They can operate autonomously, minimizing the risk to firefighters. The drones are equipped with thermal cameras capable of detecting fires from up to five miles away, even in poor visibility conditions such as fog, smoke, or rain. Artificial intelligence processes the data in real time and assists in coordinating the actions of firefighting teams. An important feature of the system is its firefighting capability, where the drones are equipped with tanks of powder extinguishing agents that can effectively suppress small fire areas. Each drone can carry up to 12 kilograms of extinguishing powder, which is dispersed using a quick release system. Write in the comments which of the firefighting drones shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.